side, we have the team Noah Walker, Zan Sayed, and Dylan Donegan. We saw earlier them play. Zan Sayed's humans deck did not fare particularly well against Ben Nikolic. So I, I got to assume, Ryan, you like the team on the left, Marks, Krusiak, and Marks, uh, four-color Grixis and Grixis. Four-color featuring Grixis. Yeah, it's just all Grixis. I'm about this. They're the Grixis team. Turn one, Noah with Delver of Secrets. And that is quite the artist mod he has on it. Full, full art of it. That is neat. I like that. Do and Deathrite Shaman from Brian. Cool hey, brainstorm altar, yeah. too. It's going to be Force of Will pitching brainstorm to counter the Deathrite Shaman from Noah. Spell Pierce will flip the Delver into Insectile Aberration. And that'll swing across for three. Brian down to 17. And Noah's going to wasteland him off. This feels like you're playing against Teamer Delver. Goodness. Oh, yeah. Yeah, this is a great start. You don't see this as often, where it's just free spell, free spell, wasteland. Mm -hmm. It's it's just been harder. Yeah, if that Deathrite Shaman resolved, there'd be nothing going on. But the Force yeah. Will on that, it, it it's an aggressive use of Force of Will, but it's stopping Marks from playing the game. Yeah, and Noah's got everything. <laughs> spell Pierce on your Ponder, second wasteland on your land. Go, hit you for three. Love it. This is... No one's trying... Does not want his opponent playing any kind of magic. And this four-color control deck... It's doing a lot of stuff that takes more than one land to set up. Yeah, it's got Baleful Strix, Leovold, a couple Cast Dissident Mage. This is a slower deck, and it yeah. does not have much time to recover. He doesn't even have four Fatal Pushes. He's playing two, three push, two Coligans Command. Mm -hmm. so he's going to try to brainstorm his way out. I just expect Noah to daze here or something, the way this game's been going. Uh, maybe Brian even just brainstorm locks himself. <laughs> oh. You've seen this movie before. <laughs> That's exactly what happened. Untaps here with the Insectile Aberration. Three more, Brian down to 10. Yeah. <laughs> Third Wasteland! This is definitely one of my favorites. This is like the Rocky Four of Legacy matches. <laughs> Just haymakers the whole time. Here we go, down to seven. Ah, oh, you're out of lands. All right, I'm gonna keep hitting you. Yeah. You gonna block this one with your face again? All right, uh, take three. Come on, fourth, fourth Wasteland, let's do it. I wanna see the fourth Wasteland. Come on, Noah, make it happen. At least you hit him down to one and buck him, bolt him. Good game. One zero. Great. <laughs> That's just good, wholesome magic. <laughs> hey, you cast like three spells. We had a good game. Yeah. I, I did, to be fair, Noah also only cast like three spells. But it also had three Delver wastelands. Delver Secrets, Force of Will, Spell Pierce, and Lightning Bolt, bolt. Yeah. and three wastelands. That's great. Okay. Well, that was cool. Uh, Noah's <laughs> up 1-0. We'll be back with game number two in just a minute. Back here, player's sideboarding here. We're going to look at Brian's 
sideboard. I'm going to go on a limb here and say that he should take any card that he can play off one land and board it in. That's generally going to be true. There's a couple where you're going to miss here, but... <laughs> okay. I mean, it can't be that much to miss. We, I don't know if I want all these four mana things. I don't know. It doesn't seem to want yeah. to let me have land. I wouldn't bring in the Chandra. Let's, let's, let's yeah, put it on okay. the list here. We have three Rattle Elemental Blast, three Surgical Extraction, two Fluster Storm, two Thoughtseize, a Chandra Torture Defiance, a Diabolic Edict, a Hymn to Turok, an Invasive Surgery, and a Sylvan Library. So the three Rattle Elemental Blast, those ones are great. Yeah. All right, maybe not all the one mana ones. Right. Sometimes you go for Fluster Storm against the Fair Blue decks. You can counter Brainstorm. You can fight Counter Wars. Pretty reasonable. Don't hate Thoughtseize here. Diabolic Edict, if you're expecting to play against True Rain Nemesis, that one's pretty good. It answers the one mana creatures pretty well as, as well. You do have to worry about losing the Young Pyromancer, but it does the job a lot of the time. Yeah, I mean, Brian's main deck has two Cast Dissident Mage, which is a four drop, and two Jace the Mind Sculptor. There's just no way he can bring that much four mana to the fight. Yeah. Now, on Noah's side, he's got the Cabal Therapies, Fluster Storms, Price of Progress, Pyroblast, Surgical Extraction, Abrade, Diabolic Edict, Dismember, and Engineered Explosives. I'm not sure how much of this he actually likes. He doesn't need a ton to come in here. You could go for Price of Progress. It's generally going to be more for lands, uh, decks of that nature. Though, against Four Color Control, you can deal a lot of damage with it if you decide to be the aggressor, though I'd probably stay away from that. His own Pyroblast, there's a lot of blue spells here. That one's great. Not a lot else going on here. You should just draw those wastelands again. I'm into that. That's the strategy. Zan Sayed takes game one over in modern. Humans def up a game on Grixis control. Wow. Ryan, team Grixis, though. It's just all Grixis. Yeah. The sideboard probably has like 100 removal spells, right? Um, I mean, that's how I. That's how you, Grixis works. At, you at, have the Grixis At least list. 15. Yeah, I don't know what I'm doing. We got... Oh, yeah, he's got some damnation action. <laughs> oh, gosh. Uh, it's actually a really, relatively light, but there is an Anger of the Gods and Engineered Explosives. Got those Counter Squalls. I know that you're a big fan of that one. Yeah, Not, not great against humans, but <laughs> I do like that it's in the sideboard. Ooh, it's got a weird main deck. A couple search for his content and a pull from tomorrow. He's trying to do a Jeskai imitation. Pull from tomorrow. That's like the cryptic command that's not doesn't gain you life. The Sphinx's revelation that doesn't gain you life. That's I mean Sphinx's yeah. revelation doesn't gain you life. Yep. He's got four cryptic commands. Oh yeah. Buy you time to find these damnations post sideboard. What's the advantage to playing that over playing something like Jeskai? So I actually, if you're going to go for Search for his Conta, I feel like Jeskai actually executes a bit better. Mm -hmm. The big draw to Grixis is Coligan's Command, Snapcaster Mage. All right, so you get Coligan's Command to play from playing Black. You Coligan's Command, Tassiger, Fatal Push, but you lose Colonnade. Celestial Colonnade is actually Col the yeah. biggest thing that you miss on. Is Colonnade, Path, and Helix? Yeah, well, like, Path and Helix are actually, like, the bad cards that Jeskai has to play. Helix, Fa Helix is randomly good? Yes, and it's random. Like, the match is not bad. good. It's yeah. quite bad. It's just more lava spikes in but your But really colonnade. That's the yeah. Colonnade is the big draw. Yeah, Coligan's command. Yeah, that's why you want to be Grixis, you don't want though. The creeping tar pits just not doing it for you. I just stopped even playing that card. It just just never crosses the finish line. Sometimes messes up your mana base. I think creeping tar pit should have had shroud. I think if you if you give Celestial Colonnade four toughness, there's no reason to not give Creeping Tarpit Shroud. It's already unblockable. I don't like the unblockable hexproof combination. No, it's not hexproof. It's Shroud. Okay. Shroud's a fair and balanced mechanic. It's like Nimble Mongoose isn't I even think playable. I also don't make Shroud anymore. Well, we did when Creeping Tarpit was made. I think. Y yes. <laughs> Uh, I'm gonna get in trouble for saying yes to that, and until I come up with one. So this, this is Zendikar. Yeah. World Wake. Yeah, there was that, that three two jungle cat. Uh, yeah, scythe leopard. Yeah. Scythe tiger. Yeah, scythe tiger had shroud. Scythe leopard was the. That's the best. That's a better one. Yeah, that, that's the uh, landfall one from yeah. the second Zendikar. When we returned, the tigers had had been replaced by leopards. <laughs> The ecosystem in the jungle is constantly in flux. They're still cats. They're just, instead of stripey cats, they're spotty cats. <laughs> yeah, there we go. He's got Shroud. This card's really bad. <laughs> can't, right. can't argue with that. Because 
It, you first read it and you think it has potential, but it, it's bad. <laughs> Turn one, Delver of Secrets again from Noah. He's on the draw this time, so it's not going to be as much of a jerk as he was last game. <laughs> Two fetch lands, both cracked here by Brian. Uh, we're not looking at anything like Stifles, right? Noah's, we're not, he's not the full teamer deck. No. No. No one, I don't even see people do that anymore. You don't see too many Stifles. It's gotten a lot worse now that Deathrite Shaman is just ubiquitous. Yeah. The idea that you're going to stifle days and waste your opponent off the game is yeah. just hard. You just like stifle and waste them and they can still make mana. It's messed up. <laughs> Terminate. Going to go at the Delver of Secrets. Now Noah does play days. We'll see if he wants, wants to and or can days here. But nope, he'll go ahead and bin the one drop. You often don't use a protection spell on your threats, in particular against these four-color control decks where Baleful Strix is a card available to them. Yeah, that card's just a, just a pain. So Noah, main phase, going to crack fetch line here, see what he has on two, perhaps young Pyromancer. Looks like it's just Ponder, wants to go ahead and crack a fetch line first. He has uh, another Pluted Delta in his hand, so if he likes two of these cards, and this reason enough to keep this Ponder. Well, some good news for the Team Grixis. Kyle Marks, in standard, his Grixis energy deck does take game one over Dylan Donegan. Dalver of Secrets again for Noah. Passes. Brian does have Colgan's Command here and draws Baleful Strix. I Both like of these yeah. are good. You probably just play Strix to play around days, though Noah is likely to be lower or off of days on the draw. Yeah, and also he, I like how he plays the third land first just to play around days regardless, so he'll get a card off that and perhaps multiple cards. Delver Secrets is not great against Baleful Strix. Let's see, it flips off Brainstorm. Yeah, once the Strix has resolved, Noah's looking at using something like a Lightning Bolt to remove it. You do go down a card, but can't do anything about that. Young Pyromancer, play Pluted Delta from Noah. And yeah, you see he flips into Insectile Aberration, but still uh, not going to attack into the Strix. Does he have a way to remove the 1-1? One -one? I don't, I don't know if he does in his hand. Or just it's, it's a four lightning bolt deck. Okay, so he's waiting for that. So still going to get the card regardless. We see abrupt decay shoot at young pyromancer. Noah's going to respond. Like to get an elemental. See a lot going on in Brian's hand. He's got Jace, Leovold, Coligan's command, all at the ready. Yeah, and he has not been wastelanded this game, so shouldn't have much difficulty casting these spells. Yeah, he just has his cards are just more powerful here. Yes. Brainstorm in response to the abrupt decay, so an elemental token. Of course, no one's going to use the Dylan Donegan token. He is playing the event with Dylan Donegan. Yeah. You don't love casting Brainstorm in response to a spell that you can't counter, but getting that elemental token is pretty yeah. valuable. So, Young Pyromancer is down. Gets token, and Brian passes. We're back over to Noah Walker. He does have the Lightning Bolt found it, so he bolts away the Strix, swings in for four. Brian down to 14. And the mana base here, two underground seas, Volcanic Island, drops Tropical Island, so can't leave up Red Elemental Blast this turn. But here's True Name Nemesis, and actually Noah's going to get that one to resolve. That's big here. And for this four-color control deck, we're looking at a main deck copy of Toxic Deluge and removing these other creatures and having that sideboard Diabol Diabolic Edict. Yeah, Toxic Deluge here would be very strong. It's, it's going to brainstorm. He finds Pyroblast. A second labeled and a Snapcaster Mage, that's no good. He does have a fetch land in hand, so he can reset off the Brainstorm. Yeah, but uh, he's drawing to very specific things, and he yeah. is under significant pressure. This is a two-turn clock. The Red Blast can deal with the Insectile Operation, so that's player. something. Well, you could also use Coligan's Command for that purpose. That 
with the fetch here, you can get another red source, use the Coligan's command, and maybe even take care of the token and then red blast the insect elaboration. Be a riskier line. Probably just want to deal with the Delver so you don't play in the days, though. Can Coligan's command down the aberration and bring back your Baleful Spricks? Yeah, it seems like he'll be able to answer all of the cards on the battlefield here that are not true name nemesis. Mm -hmm. Cast Leovold for the turn. Now he's going to go ahead and red blast away the Insectile Aberration passes. Yeah, Leovold makes it hard for Noah to do much else. There's still the question of can Brian deal with the true name in the first place. <laughs> and Noah's going to make a second true name. So now we are down to a two-turn clock. Noah's got some draws to work with here. He will start. Finds Ponder. Not bad. Once you're under the Leovold, if Brian didn't Toxic Deluge last turn, you kind of just got to play into it because a lot of your draws are yep. turned off. No more brainstorming and pondering for Noah. And Brian's going to shuffle. He found three lands on top of the deck. He has a Snapcaster Mage in hand to rebuy that Ponder, but he's really looking for Toxic Deluge. Mm -hmm. He's going to get a lot of looks, but uh, he only has one copy. And picks up Fatal Push off the Ponder. That one's not going to do it. No. Got to figure you're going to see Snapcaster Mage here. Yeah, I think Ponder likely actually better to flashback than Brainstorm at this point. Yes. He's just looking for, if you're looking for specifically one card. Mm. Ponder lets you look at three and then shuffle, so it's technically yep. four. Also, you're not forced to redraw the cards. Right. Gets, he uses Colgan's Command, discard a card, and gets back Baleful Strix, says go. Now swings Brian's down to four. This means he actually can't snap cast into that Deluge if he finds it. Mm -hmm. Draw here is a basic Swamp. It's not going to play. Yeah, he just gets way fewer looks for the Deluge yeah, this Yeah, I think so. But he still can't find it. He has a redraw with the Baleful Strix. He does have a sixth land, so he can snap the Ponder. Mm -hmm. And if he draws Deluge, he's still good. Right. Well, assuming Noah doesn't have Lightning Bolt. <laughs> so here's Snapcaster Mage. Targets Ponder. Flashes it back. Top three. Ponder, Brainstorm, and Snapcaster Mage. Those are misses. So shuffle, and he's hoping for exactly one card. Yep. It's got to be Deluge. Has Noah give it a cut. He's got the swamp. Is it a Dale Hughes? Top card. It's a Ponder. That's not going to do it. Noah Walker, 2-0 with Grixis Delver. Uh, Team Grixis takes their first loss, first match loss to a Grixis deck. Fair enough. Noah's <laughs> up 2-0. We're going to, so that is one in the bank for Noah Walker, Sayed, and Zonigan. We're going to move over to Modern, where Zan Sayed is up a game. If he can win game two, that'll take it home for his team. Playing against Steven Krisiak. Steven is playing Grixis Control against humans. In these cyborg games, they do get harder. We have Tasso. Let's walk through here. We have Tassiger in play on Steven's side. He's thought scouring himself at the moment. This is Grixis Control, not Shadow, reminder you. On Zan's side, he's got a Thraben Inspector and then a Phantasmal Image. We'll see what that's set on in just a sec here. For Zan's sake, you would hope it's Tassiger. Well, now it's it doesn't now matter. Now it's dead. It's, got, it's terminated. Tassiger will swing in for four. Yeah, so it was Tassiger, and now it's gone. Yeah, Zan hit down to 16. Going to crack a clue end step. And you see Steven's hand mostly empty. Zan, last time we had him on camera, was playing against Jeskai Control. He definitely struggled against an all-removal spell deck, which I assume Steven is, is playing now that we're post-sideboard. Mm-hmm. So Zan does have this favorite inspector, but it looks like he has been ineffective at getting any damage through this game. Yeah. I mean, at that point, he's, he's worried about getting raced by Tassiger, which isn't really where you want to be. Right. Also, Steven's graveyard's pretty good. You look at what's left there. It's Terminate, it's Thought Scour, and, four light, and three Lightning Bolts. Tassiger is live. Yeah. Here's Noble Hierarch from Zan. Just one card in Steven's hand, but Steven's winning the race, so fair enough. 
Swings in, exalts for two, Steven down to 16. You know, Zan, once again, he's got those Kessig malcontents in his hand again. Um, <laughs> They figure to do some damage this game. Yeah. There's, there's cavernous souls everything's too. Everything's a human. Take three. Here's the malcontents. Steven down to 13. Yeah, unlike last game, Steven's not just a lock to draw a bunch of electrolyzes here. It's kind of the opposite of lock, right? Did he register? Yeah, I don't think he did. Last time we saw Zan yeah. against Jess Guy Larcher, yeah, that's that was just happening every turn from Ben Nikolic. And this is something you see from some Grixis control players. We see three Culligans come in here. I've seen this with four. Yeah. I like a 2-2 two -two split with Electrolyze, and there's just no Electrolyzes here, and this is one of those matchups where it's really going to cost him. Yeah, he does have an Is It Staticaster in the sideboard, which I assume comes in here. Humans yes. has a lot of X1s. Certainly. You'd like to have that in addition to Electrolyze. Yeah, yeah you're right. So, Steven down to 12. Does Zan have anything more? Seemingly not. We'll go over to Steven's turn. Logic not the pickup. He has Ugh. a fetch land. Well, he can use Logic not with Tassiger to clean up garbage in his graveyard for Tassiger, well, but that's the, about the it. Logic not remains. Yeah, I guess that means he'll just get Logic not back. That's no good. Mm -hmm. You got to delve it to itself. Because <laughs> that's definitely how that mechanic works. <laughs> yeah, not, not quite. Activates Creeping Tar, but Steven is just deciding to just race here. And I, I'm interested in the decision. You see he attacks for seven. He could either activate Tassiger well, as per cards or just hit with Tar Pit. He already has Thought Scour in his graveyard, so the Tassiger okay. is going to miss. So he's swinging. It's for seven. Zan's down to eight. And my concern is with Zan at 15 exactly, then... He, I think Steven's like one point short of really wanting to try to race here. I'm very much on board with the attack with the Tar Pit. Okay. Hanging Tassiger back to try to block. Sure. That might have been that better than the be attack. Sands right. crunching back for four. Yeah, he's going to draw off Horizon Canopy. He's trying to get a little more damage here. Maybe a Thalia's Lieutenant or another Kessig Malcontents. Yeah, the thing is, Zan is almost assuredly going to contribute more power to the battlefield. Right. And Steven is certainly not. Right, so swing back's for four. Right now it's not a two turn clock. We'll see if Zan can make it into one. Nor Walker offering some advice here. Good player to have on your shoulder. Swing for four, Steven down to eight. Champion of the Parish. One drop here from Zan. Another, and he'll cast Meddling Mage. Yes, yeah, so you kind of take your pick here, Anger of the Gods or Damnation. can just chump block the Tasker with the Hierarch next turn as a lot of other creatures. And there's three li lightning bolts in the graveyard, so you don't want to name that one. I suppose Snapcaster Mage is actually the most likely relevant card that Steven can have. Snapcaster Mage isn't even game winning, though. I think because of the relative impact of either Anger of Damnation over Snapcaster Mage, you probably just name one of those sweepers. If you know... I guess in Grixis control, which one is in his deck even? He's going to name Snapcaster Mage with it, which that makes sense. That's the high percentage play in terms yeah. of cards that Steven's likely to draw. Yeah, he certainly is playing four, and you know, naming those sweepers while very good, is there's, there's a guessing game on are you even naming a real card. Yes. Steven will fetch down to seven. And with this... These creatures here, Steven likely unblocking duty with the Creeping Tar Pit. It's going to depend what he draws. Drawing a Cryptic Command or one of those sweepers is going to be the best thing he can draw. Sure. Sweeper is certainly more powerful than the Cryptic, but the Cryptic would do a lot. This is still on Zan's end step. So he's just kind of some talk with teammates here. Steven is not in a great spot, though. Looks like Zan will be able to, even if 
Steven leaves back a blocker. I don't know, Zan's going to be pushing damage. He has another Horizon Canopy in play as well, so looking for uh, two cards next turn. Mm -hmm. yeah, Steven really does need this draw step to be something good. Yeah. Let's see what he gets. It's a Misty Rainforest. That is not something good. Yeah, I don't think I would call it that. And at this point, maybe Creeping Tarpet's a blocker, as much as you hate to say it. Yep. Yeah, I think it just has to be. Yeah, I would have liked to have seen if, if he has a land to fetch, I would have liked to have seen Steven Fett play one of his lands here. He can activate Creeping Tar Pit and then activate Tassiger if he has a seventh mana. And I know Tassiger will still find a Thought Scar, which is not great, but he needs cards. I, I think I would have wanted to see that. From seven, the one life is a real cost. Yes. Well, here's Mantis Rider from Xan. Maybe none of this matters. Yeah. yeah it's looking like it. Well, two blockers on Steven's side. Yes. The largest creatures would be a, both the three powers. So it's not actually enough damage. It's only six on the board. So Zan's just going to swing Mantis Rider and exalt it. He'll put Steven to three. Mm -hmm. Yep, that, that attack's just his best attack. So that makes sense. And there was no end step Tassiger activation for Steven. He just drew his card. Is there some reason to not? If you put Anger Damnation in your graveyard, which I know is unlikely... But because Snapcaster's Meddling Mage, then you actually just yeah, lose you the just out. Yeah, you won't be able to use them. So I, I understand that argument. I actually do think that's actually kind of a, um, a mathematical fallacy. Yeah, I'm on your side. Yeah, I yeah. just think that's why it happened. Oh, hey, what do you know? He thought Scar's opponent and drew Anger the Guts. That's, they, oh, <laughs> this is one of those things where people do math incorrectly, and then they're going to do it. Uh, I mean, great, great. I'm glad he drew it. This is a great out. <laughs> This makes me so upset. Okay. <laughs> I'm happy that you're upset. The ordering of your cards, each turn you get to draw one card that is unknown. So it's not like by not milling yourself, you're not changing it, that fact. Matthias, did you consider that he had a feeling? St that's. I don't know if you considered that he had a feeling. Stop. Just stop. Here's Reflector Mage from Zan. He might still be able to win from here, too. Plays Ancient Ziggurat and passes. Creeping Tarp is lethal in two turns. Unfortunately, it's one point shy on this turn. Doesn't have to fade too many things no. with the tar pit well, line. Well, I mean, he's just going to go for it. He's going to put Zan down to one. I mean, Reflector Mage is not lethal unless Zan draws Thalia's Lieutenant or yep. Mantis Rider. Mm -hmm. Can't do anything about the Mantis or Rider. Or Kessig Malcontents. That land's not going to do it. Well, maybe it is. Wait, that's a Horizon Canopy. We'll see what he gets here. Ooh, and another Mantis wow. Rider. Is it going to do it? It's a, That's a Cavern of Souls. You can't counter it. And that's it. Zan wins the game and the match. His Noah Walker, you see a big pat on the back from his teammate. One good top deck deserves another, and it is Walker, Sayed, and Donegan picking up the win.